Greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings. This is not first Sunday. First Sunday was last week. Greetings, greetings, greetings. I'm not going to be on long. It's Sunday night and um, have a big day tomorrow. Um, um, Bishop uh, Stephen B. Hall's um, funeral is tomorrow. So I'm not going to be long. And then plus, I can't, anybody that knows me knows I cannot stand daylight savings time. And so... Um, uh, today was the first day of daylight savings time. I feel like I'm jet lagged. I don't know what time it is. It's just, you know, it, it, it's a mess. Um, so I, I need to, um, hurry up and jump into bed and, um, uh, try to, um, get adjusted to this whole new, this whole new time situation. Cause I just, I, I do not like daylight savings time. And to think that they have put it on the ballot to consider in the state of Georgia to having daylight saving time all year round. I was just like, oh, I mean, you know, some of the legislators can be so stupid and ridiculous. Um, but anyway, so closed out our, um, our holy workers meeting um on tonight uh for those of you y'all know that y'all know i am church of god in christ i am certainly church of god in christ i, I know some of y'all are are um off brands and you know non denoms and you know whatever the case you you may be but um i am church of god in christ and uh i just you know i just love our traditions and our culture and you know the way that we do things and how things are are somewhat similar um you know although we have um some people that you know are like romper room in our jurisdiction or whatever and they are in position and you know they're trying but you know it's just mm. I don't know. It'll never be the same. Bishop Owens is deceased and it'll just, you know, Central Georgia will never be the same. But nonetheless, we press on. Um, so I uh, just thought I would jump on. I don't really have, I didn't really have anything um, uh, prepared. I didn't have much prepared last week. I just kind of flowed from off the cuff and um, I'll do the same on uh, on tonight, briefly, I uh, wanted to say greetings to all of you that are jumping on. I I, uh, I won't call names because I see some, um, some rather influential, how about that? Some rather influential people that, um, that are on. And there's a number of folks from a number of different, uh, well, you know, I have a cadre of of friends and people that follow me from various walks of life. So, and you know, I don't let, I don't believe, now let me ask you all this. This is a good question because I do this and I don't know if you all do this or not, but I, I, I compartmentalize. Um, I do not cross populate friends. Um, is there anyone else in here that, that does that same thing? I do not, um, I do not believe in cross popularization of friends. I think the genre of life in which I met you, acquired you, um, interacted with you is the box that Sir William will keep you in. So if I know you through church, then you're going to stay at the church box. If you are a Morehouse uh, brother or, or alum, then you're going to stay over in, you know, my upper echelon Morehouse um, civic social community group. Um, and then if I know you from that, I don't cross properly. And and many times I don't know if if um, if you should do that or if you all find that, but I, you, you know, if something breaks out in one community, 
I know it it keeps it from crossing over and um and you, you know affecting your entire life or your entire situation and other um other community other communities so I keep you compartmentalized I keep you in your section <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know if other folks do that or not. But anyway, so um, I was saying that I probably won't call names because it's people from various aspects of knowing me and um, and um, and my life that are jumping on. Kind of shocking that you all are jumping on my Sunday Night Live. Although my Sunday Night Live is kind of a little bit more geared to um to my um to my church folks and my church audience or what have you. So I don't you know. Uh, but everybody that knows me knows that I'm a church boy from I mean from all the way around. I I definitely um I definitely stand by that. So I just wanted to uh, 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 say is that I know, you know what, you might see it again tomorrow. I have not even figured out, um, I, I have not even figured out what to wear um, for uh, Bishop Hall's funeral. And I mean, I need to be in bed now getting ready for it because we're going to probably, I mean, it's a 12 noon funeral, but I'm sure we're going to need to be assembling as early as probably nine, 10 o'clock, I'm sure. Um, and I don't even know if that church is going to, um, uh, 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 I don't even know if that church is going to be able to accommodate the amount of people. Um, so uh, it's it's going to be something. And, you know, Mondays, I'd like to just kind of chill on Monday. But it is it is a, um, a Monday service uh, nonetheless. Nonetheless. So anyway... I'm um, just jumping on a uh, lot going on. I hope you all uh, voted and are looking at this election. Um, uh, all of them pretty much have bit the dust, baby. They bite. They bite the dust. And all we need is um, uh, Bernie to go on and hack it up and just and just throw all of our support behind uh behind Joe Biden, Vice President Joe Biden. And so we can go on and fight and uh, win this thing. That was what that, that was the message. That was the message today. He said, I got it, I got into a fight, but I won. Oh, y'all know that y'all know that thing. I, I, I like that thing. That thing bless uh that thing blessed me. Um and so it was um uh, it was really it was really, 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 really good. And they you know, it ain't bad to fight as long as you win. Come on here, as long as you kick their ass, baby. It's all right to fight. It's all right to fight, but don't you be the one to get your ass kicked. Uh, am I talking right? You make sure you be the one to win, baby. E even if you gotta fight dirty, <laughs> by any means necessary, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win this thing. Come on here. I know y'all don't like this kind of teaching, but I'm gonna talk it anyway. Um. And so, uh, greetings, 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 greetings. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so, um, someone is asking about the coronavirus. And um, I, um, I really, my thoughts on it, I think it's far more serious than what uh, the government and... Um, uh, uh, what the news is alluding to. I think it's a little bit more, I think it's a little bit more serious. Um, and it seems that even though the virus has been around, it seems like it has mutated in some kind of way. And, um, it's gotten, um, stronger or mutated or it's gotten, um, a, a different strand, um, than what we might have been previously, 
um, uh, aware of or, you know, accustomed to or whatever the case may be. I think we just got to really, um, you know, carry the, uh, the hand sanitizer and, um, just really, you know, just really be careful. I was calling around yesterday. Um, I was trying to figure out, do I need to get me a gas mask or something or, you know, or some kind of whole hood or, or helmet situation to, um, you know, uh, but anyway, I'm not, I'm not one to touch people and shake hands and do all of that anyway. I don't like all of that. You know, sometimes I don't like all of that interaction. Then I'm only going to interact with, um, with, um, uh, certain people. That, that was so funny tonight because, uh, uh, Tracy said, Ooh, you're so mean. I said, you're so right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. You didn't, um, you didn't know that you just, I guess Tracy just found out that I was mean tonight, but I told him that he was fat or that he was getting fat. And so he liked to die. And, and then he's like, oh, you Williams got me so self-conscious. I said, well, I told you the truth. Anyway, but he was like, he said that in the wintertime, he gains weight and then he drops it in the summertime. You know, whatever. So anyway, um, so I think we got to be careful. Uh, I think we really, and especially like, I guess when we get into... Um, uh, you know, like uh, my daddy was saying um, that he doesn't want me to order DoorDash anymore um, because I was telling him how much I like DoorDash and I got daddy addicted to DoorDash. So, you know, so now he's ordering DoorDash. And so then he calls and he's like, son, we can't eat DoorDash no more because of Corona and we don't know who, we don't know who bringing the food. And I, I, I just be damn right when I get some good. Right when you turn, t uh, tell me about some good. Now something to mess it up. I was like, I said, Daddy, aren't you a preacher? I said, if we pray over any deadly thing, come on here. I said, I had to remind him. I said, who are you? Who, who, who is you? I, are you who you say you are? So then, after I after I uh, got him to uh, refortify his faith and believe and know who he is and whom he believe, then he was like, "Well, I'm gonna I'm give me some DoorDash tonight." Well, I ain't got to get DoorDash tonight because um, Demetrius, oh hateful Demetrius, is in the kitchen tonight. Speaking of kitchen, I told I this Chef Greg. If you're watching, this is especially for you. So Chef Greg, we got this. Um, we got uh, our, our uh, Chef Greg. Um, he actually cooks for Mother Tucker and Chris, and um, he's really, really, really a good chef. But he was in the kitchen tonight, and um, um, uh. I, I got a fish dinner or whatever. And um, so that was really good. I, you know, love his high, his high um, fish. Most of us are a good portion of us. And I miss, oh, Mother Pauline Moulton. Mother Moulton and I, we used to sit when Central Georgia was all together. Um, and a lot of people don't know the history of Central Georgia. Actually, Mother Foster and uh, Mother Foster and Mother Pauline Moten. Um, Mother Foster has gone on to be with the Lord. Um, she was our Good Shepherd lady. And um, she always led the Good Shepherd March. And Bishop Owens called her the Good Shepherd lady. But that's Mark Foster's mother. And I loved Mother Foster. That's Gail uh, Dale Hightower. Mother Foster, I think, had like, like 14... 14 children and that's mother Stott's sister and uh but i loved uh oh my gosh i love mother foster i could do no wrong and um uh, i would sit with her i would sit with her then i um i'm gonna tell you another another one of my older girlfriends um oh gosh i feel i feel kind of teary-eyed i miss them I miss um I miss some of the older saints. Um 
And uh, Aunt Jo, um, Mother Betty Ann Pace's sister, um, uh, Aunt Jo, um, mm, that was um, that was my buddy. Woo! I um, I cannot believe this. This is. This is something that has never happened. I have never got overcome with emotion on a lie. Um, but anyway, I miss Aunt Joe and um, Mother Foster. Um, Mother Stotts is that, uh, Mother Foster's sister. Mother Stotts is still alive, but they're over with South Central, so we don't get a chance to see them. But but Mother Stotts and, and Mother Pauline Moulton, they preached out. They evangelized. They, they were working women um, and did a, a, a lot of work um, for the Lord and preached out a number of the churches in the, um, in, um, the central Georgia area. But I was saying all that to say me and, um, me and mother Moulton, we used to, um, we used to always sit together, uh, generally on Friday nights and, um, uh, we would have uh, a fish dinner together. Sometimes we would have two. Sometimes we would share one uh, or what have you. And Mother Moulton's in the hospital, so we are definitely praying for Mother. Um, she's, I believe, well, uh, not so much in the hospital. I think she's in um, in rehab. And uh, I love her, uh, love her much. So anyway, so I just was jumping on. Hey, hey, folks, how you all? Um, Kimmy says, I love and miss the older mothers of the church. I know, I know. And and I mean, we, we just don't have any mothers anymore. And, you know, because the, the now, these old, these, uh, these old heifers, they trying to compete with, with, uh, with the, with these young hoes, you know? So we, we don't know. You can't be a mother cause, cause you got you, you got your titties out and you got your hem, your dress short and you trying to compete with some 22 or 20. 23 or 24, you, you know, so it ain't no mothers no more. Yeah, as, as Pastor Simmons said, as Pastor Simmons used to say, oh yeah, you a mother, all right. <laughs> uh, you a mother. <laughs> yeah, hey, y'all remember, y'all, hey, y'all remember Mother Davis. Yes, 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 yes. Mother Davis, that was one of my, um, that was one of my babies. I used to sit with Mother Davis. Y'all remember that at Citadel? I used to sit, Mother Davis came out the Baptist church and she came out of the Baptist. In fact, she came out, she left Elizabeth. She had been Baptist for, for years and she left Elizabeth and, um, she came over to Citadel and um uh, and she was at citadel until uh until she died um uh, and uh she was one of, i loved her cuz you know mother mother davis would cuss every now and then and um so i would like to rile her up and uh she cussed every once in a while mother davis was uh mother davis was feisty and then oh i see elder words on here mother coleman Yes, and Mother Coleman. Uh, Mother Coleman was from Connecticut. She came to us um, from Bishop uh, uh, Moles. Bishop Kenny Moles was her um, pastor and bishop, and she she retired and she left Connecticut and bought her a home in Decatur, Georgia, and uh, she loved and took care of. Uh, of Pastor Simmons for a number of years. Um, Mother Coleman was just a dear, 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 sweet, sweet, uh, sweet lady. So we certainly, uh, certainly missed her. And so, um, uh, who else? So anyway, I don't have a lot to say on tonight. So I'm just going to uh, probably just jump off um, and, um, um, get off here, but I, but everyone was saying that, you know, your Sunday night live, your Sunday night live, you got to do your Sunday night live and these people are doing it. Let me tell y'all something. Sir William is in competition with no one. I'm in a class and a league all by myself. I have no need to 
compete with other bloggers and vloggers and whatever else they, you know, some of these other folks is doing. Let them do what they need or or feel that they have to, that they have to do. I'm certainly not in in competition with them. I'm uh, over here doing doing me and doing my own thing, as uh, and I do that well. Um, so anyway, so not, um, not competing in, um, in any kind of, um, situation, um, you know, I don't have to mention them and, you know, well, I'm, I'm, we're going to stay nice. We're going to stay nice on tonight. Um, so anyway, don't, um, um, don't, someone says, yes, you do. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, if you, if you, you're entitled to, um, your thoughts and your opinion. So, um, uh, but I, uh, I don't, I don't think I have to, um, I don't think I have to do that. All right. So anyway, um, but definitely be careful. Um, make sure you keep, they said, well, make sure you keep your hand sanitizer, um, and I guess we got to be concerned about, you know, large crowds and large venues and things of that sort. Um, and so that was one thing that people was asking about. Some other people was also asking about and got to write about Angela Stanton. Um, Angela Stanton, as you know, she's the one that wrote the book on uh, about Phaedra Parks and um, President Trump pardoned her. And so now she's going to... Um, She's going to run for uh, Congressman John Lewis's um, uh, seat. Um, and we know that Congressman Lewis has been diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer. So it's kind of interesting. Um, uh, I, you know, I don't know. Angela Stan, she was here in Georgia. She was a member of Dwight Shields Church for some time. Now she's really close to the president. Sometimes you see her. Um, you know, praying with him and for him and things of that sort. So I think it'll be, you know, it'll be interesting. We're, we're going to see how it all, we'll see how it plays out. How about that? Um, I was hoping that Congressman Lewis, since he, um, uh, is not doing well and ill and, you know, we're about to have his 80th birthday celebration, um, I was hoping that he would run or be able to run um, per, perhaps what might be his last time unopposed. Um, but um, unfortunately, it looks like there's going to be another situation. So anyway, like my pastor said tonight, he said, I got into a fight. It's all right to fight as long as you win. He said, I got into a fight, but I won. So, you know, anything in life worth having is worth fighting for. Yeah, so um, it might just certainly be a, uh, might have to be a fight. It might be, and you know, maybe that, uh, maybe the flip side of that can, it, it, it can be some additional um, motivation and, and some additional um, uh, uh, press and push for him to, you, you know, yet live. You know, some people, um, sometimes they get those death sentences and those diagnoses and, you know, like Mother Owens. Mother Owens is still alive. And the, when she got breast cancer many years ago, um, her and Bishop Owens, they went to the funeral of the doctor that diagnosed Mother Owens with breast cancer. So, um it's you know who who can and what can you um and what can you say you know uh, um, we don't know only only uh the Lord knows so um certainly, but anyway, I don't have a lot prepared i um perhaps maybe I'll come on some more or maybe tomorrow. Or some more. Um, I didn't even. I, I apologize. I didn't even check my my emails to see. Um, most of y'all email me and tell me different things that y'all want me to um, 
to uh, to discuss. And so I didn't even look. I just jumped on. I just uh, I guess I'm so busy thinking about that fish that fish dinner from Chef Greg. Um, and all of that. So, uh, uh, maybe that's why I'm, uh, in, in a haste on, um, on this, uh, evening. I don't know. Maybe, you know, sometimes, and I, the, the flip side of it, uh, is that Shardy? Shardy, now you said, yes, you do. And so when you were saying, yes, you do, what were you saying? Yes, you do to and greetings to all of my um greetings to all of my um greetings to all of my listeners and all of the folks that uh that has jumped on um let's see Okay, uh, Pastor John Valentine says, what about the teen girl that was jumped by the 15 boys in Brooklyn? What is your take? Oh, my God. I wasn't, I wasn't aware of that. I wasn't aware of that. That's, just, that's absolutely terrible. Why would 15 guys jump a girl? That's just so, um, that is just so horrific. Hopefully... Hopefully they'll catch the assailants. Um, but thank you, Pastor Valentine. I was not aware of that. Um, okay, someone says that uh, Corona is very serious because nine CEOs of Fortune 500 companies have resigned in 30 days. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more serious than what the what they're alluding to. Um, and I just think that they perhaps probably does not um, um, do not want us to go into um, a real serious panic, if you will. Um, okay, uh, who else is on? Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Who else? Any other questions? Um, I miss when you don't do your life. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I will, you know what? I'm going to be more faithful to them. I am. I'm going, I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. I was telling Tracy, Tracy and I, we were talking about that today and she was telling me, she said she was going to hold me to, um, she was going to hold me accountable. She said, you got to do better. She said, you got to stop being late. We was talking about me being late, always ready to late. And she said, you got to do better. Um, oh my gosh, again, that 15 girl, uh, 15 guys jump a girl. Jesus, that is just horrible. Brooklyn, what can we say about New York? Mm. Yeah, you know, that's just like uh, with the with the old the folks in the Bible said it can anything good come out of I you know, well, let me stop. I'm not to any of my New Yorkers there. I don't want you to be uh be offended. Oh, okay. So, uh we're going with topics. So, Ann Brock Ann Brock has informed me on tonight. You know that Kenny Mo Kenneth Moles has lost the church. Uh, Ann, please, please tell me that Kenny has not lost his daddy and Peggy's church. Ah. Oh! my God, today. Mm. Peggy and Bishop Moles fought and worked and toiled You have wiped me out. You have wiped me out. I, one of my last arguments with Ken, I was saying you cannot, by no means, you cannot lose your mom and daddy's church. And I just, you know, I felt, I just felt so, 
I I don't know. I just did that hollering over that pulpit with that woman, that 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 bickering back and forth with that with that lady. I just I uh oh I just I just didn't like it. I just oh I just did not I did not like that. Um, ugh, I'm just, well, mm. yeah, I, you know what, Christopher LeBlanc, I think you're absolutely, uh, oh, I'm just, I'm just in shock about what Ann has said. I got to make sure I got to jump off and make sure I research that. Um, but Christian LeBlanc, Christopher LeBlanc said that, isn't it interesting that something, comes to divert our attention um around election uh election and voting time and that that certainly is um 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 uh interesting that the, that that kind of thing will come up uh wayne hudson says greetings 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 hey 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 man how are you how are you? I saw you uh, with a picture with your mask. Vicky, um, Vicky Moran says, what is your take of women being bishops and apostles? Um, I'm Church of God in Christ. Um, and so in the Church of God in Christ, we do not ordain women. Um, and so you have to be ordained in the Church of God in Christ to become a bishop. So, um that's my take on it. I, um, I, um, I follow and believe in the ordinances of the organization in which I am a member. And what off-brand people do and other denominations do, you're more than welcome to do those things. Um, but, you know, the Bible says that um, a bishop should be the husband of one wife. So, you know, um, that makes it plain, right? Am I talking right? Oh, okay. All right. So, um, uh, uh, should we still Duke? I don't know how to pronounce Duke's first name. Duke says, should we still touch our neighbor in church when the preacher uh acts since we got the scare well you know i don't like nobody touching me and without no scare let alone so i don't um um don't um <laughs> i don't necessarily do that do you think the clark sisters uh film would be a hit oh you know i i, I mean they're certainly they're living legends um, I was, um, I, you know, glad to see that they're going to cover Denise Bradford in the movie. Um, I hear that they're going to touch on that. I hear that they're going to touch on, uh, uh, Dorinda being suicidal. I think they're going to touch on, uh, Karen and the weight issue and, um, uh, uh, almost dying. So I think it'll be, I think it'll certainly be interesting if they really, you know, if they cover it and, and, you know, really deal with the truth. Um, I think it'll be, um, um, I think it'll be, uh, interesting. So, and, and definitely a good, I was just hoping that I was really hoping and pulling for them that it would have been a movie that would have made it to the box office. You know, it just, I, I, that would have just really, I mean, it's still a great accomplishment and I am not in any kind of way, um, shading the, um, Clark sisters or Holly Robinson Carter and, um, Missy Elliott and Queen Latifah, um, and the, you know, the others that were a part of the production. I was just saying that because, you, you know, church and me being a churchman, um, it would really be great if it could have been a box office hit, you know what I mean? But, um, this, this is wonderful. I think, um, hopefully, it will um, open up an uncharted territory. I think. Um, I think if we really tell the the history 
of uh, um, James Oglethorpe Patterson and how he um, took over the church after Bishop Mason died, I think it would be like really, 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 really interesting. And I think that some of our, um, some of our stories and some of our lives play out like movies. I'm shoot, my, my life is a movie. I'm a legend. Uh, anyway, so I, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, and all of, uh, that, uh, okay, who else? Uh, what else? I wasn't ready for that. I know that ministry well. Uh, Wayne says, wow, uh, the judge ruled against him. Ah, the judge ruled against him. Mm. Okay, Terrell Hughes says, William, no one knows if that's true or not. It's being talked about, but there's nothing online saying that as of yet. Okay, Terrell Hughes, what are you referring to? Mm. Yeah, uh, Cicely says she agrees with me. It would have been great to hear the music on the big screen. Yeah, that would have been hot. That would have been hot. If we if we had been running all over the country to the movie theaters to um to see. I thought it was interesting that that um uh, Tyler wasn't involved. Well, you know, but um anyway. So, um, yeah, but, but they still, they got a movie. They got, um, uh, they got a, a movie. Uh, Terrell Hughes says, Kenny losing the church. So we haven't, well, I'll, I'm gonna call them. I am, I, I will certainly, as soon as I get off, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, um, call them and, um, try to find out. The one thing, if the judge said something, then I guess couldn't it still be an appeal or, you know, some type of an appeal process or, you know, something that can perhaps be done? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Kenny, please tell me you didn't lose your mom and daddy's church. Oh. Oh, I know they're rolling over in that grave. I know they're sick. I mean, why didn't his, why didn't his, um, why didn't his buy the church? His has written enough hits and has enough money. He could have bought that church and made that church the, um, their organization headquarters, um, uh, Dang. You know, that's like losing your mom and daddy's house. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's certain things that you just can't do. It's certain things that no matter, you, you know, it's just like what Bishop said tonight. I was, you, you have to fight to hold on. You know, you have to fight to just push through to make it happen. Um... Uh, just, you just have to, ooh, you have to just press through. But anyway, that's just, you know, that's unfortunate. Um, so I'll definitely get on it. And yeah, Hez could have just definitely bought it here and, you know, just put it to, I mean, if he loved your mama the way he said, if he loved your mama the way he said that he loved your mom and daddy and all of that, then... You know, see, I, I tell y'all all the time and I put my cash app up. Love is what it does. 
you know, you support and you put your money behind. If you want to know where a man's heart lies, you know, or what he loves is what he puts his money um, and, and, and what he sacrifices for. And so mm, it's just, man. That is just so unfortunate. But all of the bishops, like, I mean, Ken has preached for Bishop Jakes. Like, you couldn't get on the phone and rally some of these? I, I don't know. I don't know. This is just, oh, uh, it's just terrible. It is terrible. And yeah, and shoot over the stuff to me, um, cause I definitely, uh, I definitely need to um, look into this and and what have you. And I got a short period of time to do it because you know tomorrow's the funeral. Um, uh, I think I think his has some good money. I think his has some good money from just his music catalog alone. Yeah, he's got some money. You know, and if he didn't have enough to buy it, he certainly might have had enough to... Now, the only other thing, too, I know a lot of times people don't throw good money after bad. Like, if, if, if they think or feel you are already, you know, too far gone, sometimes you can't get people to loan you or help you, you know... Uh, uh, oh, excuse me, um, bail you out if they think you, um, too far gone, you know, they'll, they'll just say, oh, well, yeah, I'm just saying, I think with the music catalog, I think that, you know, his could have definitely, you know, stepped in. I don't know if, I mean, he and Ken, um, Ken has been close to his for years. I mean, it, it, Ken was at Morehouse. Um, I was it, that was his senior year, I believe, when when he helped and when our committee worked and coordinated for Hezekiah to do um, that live uh, recording from King Chapel. Um, so they have been close and have had a close relationship for years um you know so but and it is and that's interesting because i you know they I, they wanted to jump me that friday night of peggy's funeral they wanted to those um those uh thugs and trash that um has pastors um what's this guy what's the guy's name uh rodney or uh whatever that's over the choir you know they were trying to um but i walked in there <laughs> i got into a fight baby that's the thing that that's the thing about me I, i'm not scared and so they walked in there um and you know i could feel the tension like i knew you know, something, you know, was up. But, you know, my love for uh, for Peggy uh, superseded all of that. And, um, and so uh, that night, be, and as the, as the story goes, um, it was told to me that Kenny knew that, um, that the guys from uh, Love Fellowship was going to um, attempt to uh, attempt to attack me, and I had the the funny thing because I had a weapon, I had a weapon in my Burberry bag, and um, so that Friday that that night nothing um, nothing went down. It was um, Saturday. It was Saturday that uh, that an ambushment and. Um, the, uh, the guy that, uh, directs the choir that, um, that has the charges, I think his name is, uh, Rodney. And then the other, the other dude, um, he has, uh, the other fat dark skinned dude with the beard. He has, uh, I, he's married with two, uh, with twin daughters. 
and um you know they had all tried to ambush me and then um uh uh Steven that um uh, does PR and what have you. and then it was so that's why I like I can't stand that woman that dark skinned woman whose husband died um she's real she's light skinned um, I think her name is Clorinda or something like that. You know, like I was like, okay, so you're you're at a, a funeral of a national woman that everybody knows that I was close to. And then you see, you supposed to be a preacher. This goes back to y'all talking about these, you know, women supposedly be bishops. You go, you see a altercation you and and all of us we're black so you know the difference and you know the 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 physical um and um posturing of a people talking and people that is getting ready to you know to go down and i i mean to see you and these other off-brand bishops and pastors, to see them, you know, actually seeing this. You, uh, Kevin Bond saw it. Uh, uh, Otis Battles. I mean, you know, just different ones um, to see something like that, getting ready to transpire or, 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 or happen and you're looking the other way or you're acting like it didn't it, like it didn't happen you know because i'm gonna tell you i mean you know a fight a fair fight is cool but you know when you start getting you know people that's trying to jump and then that's what i was trying to figure out like you know are at what point are you do you become where you are saved you know, like at what point do some of um, um, do some of you New Yorkers um, act like okay? You know what? Uh, this is our old way. You know, running. Um, they ran Jeff down with a baseball bat. You know, and tried to ambush him because of. His situation with James Hall. I mean, I mean, who's doing that? I mean, we're. I mean, if if you supposed to be blood washed, if you supposed to be sanctified, now you, you know we're not talking about. We're not Seven Day Adventists. We're not Baptists. We're we're professing. Uh, hold on, I got my do not disturb on. I'm trying to figure out why. Um, why did that come through? But anyway, you profess in holiness and then you're trying to, you know, act like this. So anyway, I got off on a tangent talking about um, talking about whether or not the uh, the church is lost or not. Um, it's, you know, certainly unfortunate. So um, but anyway, y'all, the hour is far spent. I've been on already. I've been on 48 minutes. Jesus. All right. Uh, is uh, Terrell says, William, I know how to contact Kenny and that you will do that. I think that we should hold off on um, Bishop Walker until knowing if all the details is if he actually did do did do to help because help was given i'm just saying um vicky says he writes his own music if i'm not mistaken um josh joshua says but it was really sad all the bigger churches that connected with the church would allow it allow them to lose it. They could have come together to stop it. Yeah, you know, I I would I'd agree with you a hundred percent, Joshua. Um, I think the number and of uh, and the caliber of 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 preacher, um, and apostolator of the gospel that Bishop Kenneth Moles was, um, and the caliber of men. Um, that was his peers and his colleagues. 
um, Jake's and um, um, uh, Alfred Owens and um, uh, uh, David Michael Copeland and so many of uh, men that um, uh, of stature and men of status and men that have become um, that the Lord has blessed to become uh, millionaires from preaching the gospel. Uh, I I think, uh, and we don't know. I mean, perhaps Ken may have asked. Perhaps he may have gone to them. But I, I, I is certainly. You know, that's what you do. I am in a crisis. You know, it, it, um, Dr. Terrence Mayer preached, uh, uh, Friday night. Was it Friday night? I think it was Friday night, Friday night or Thursday night. Um, but he preached about, uh, Obadiah's wife and the prophet Obadiah, his wife, um, Obadiah died and left his wife in debt. You know, he didn't, he didn't leave an inheritance. And so the men that Obadiah owed, they came to take the sons to be bondmen to pay, to work for them, to pay off the debt that Obadiah left. And, um, you know, so sometimes you have to ask. Sometimes you, you, you know, you, hey, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm in trouble and I need some help. I, you know, and sometimes you have to swallow your pride. You, you can't, you know, you can't be tripping in, in, in concern. I know one time somebody said, ooh, you big, or ooh, you ask, or ooh, you do this. <laughs> but, you know, I still got my stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you, you, you know, I'm, uh, hey, sometimes you, you know, uh, what's more important? Do you have to, do you have to, you know, sacrifice a little bit of pride and go to somebody and say, look, I need some help. Sometimes you got to go to people that you know don't like you, <laughs> you know, but they got it. You know, when you get in a crisis, you can't be asking nobody that don't have no money. You got to go to the people that you know got money. And it's just a question as to whether or not they want to give it to you and help you, you know, to, to, to help you through the situation. But And you don't know. Sometimes those people will. You you have no idea. You got to open up your mouth. You got to open up your mouth. You got to get down on your knees when he was hollering and 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 telling that woman off and embarrassing that woman. And instead of doing all of that, he should have been humbling himself and hollering and begging and calling folks and on the phone to get some help. Talking about she too broke to holler across the church. She didn't holler across the church. Now they're gonna be hollering across the street. Hollering out in the parking lot, hollering outside, and to have to drive by your daddy's church, he ought to burn it down. Baby, I would, I would, I would march around it. I would set it on. I would, I would douse it with gasoline and set it on fire before I have to drive uh, through Bridgeport, Connecticut, past my daddy's church and be humiliated and my children be humiliated on a day-to-day -day basis. I burn it down to the ground. I burn it and set it on fire and stand and watch it go up in a blaze before uh, before losing it. Anyway, that's just me. Now y'all can say what y'all want and how y'all want. You know, that's just, you know, y'all know I'm extreme. Okay, Joshua says you're right. You just never know what may have transpired behind closed doors. Um, Vicky says sometimes we have to put that pride to the side. I know what you're saying. Um, Vicky, you keep it 100 at all times. <laughs> That's right. She loves my lies. Listen, baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You know, I, I, you know, I, I had this one lady tell me today, she, uh, tonight, she said, you are a classy young man. And, you know, I, and I told her, I said, well, thank you. And I just hope that, uh, you know, I'm in some level or some form an example for, 
um, the young brothers uh, and, and God and young young men that love the Lord and, you know, to uh, carry and conduct yourself. But it's sometimes that that we still we're still human beings and we still experience the hurts and the pains and the toils and the struggles of life. And sometimes it's more than what we can bear by ourselves is more than what we can take on alone. And sometimes we need help and we need assistance with with taking on some of those things. And if you a person and you supposed to love God and you supposed to be, you know, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that we got people that we like and we got people that we don't like. We got people that we have had beefs with and we've had people that we might have one day been close to and we fell out with them. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you're supposed to be saved. And if you're supposed to be saved and you're supposed to love God, at some point there should be a, a, a place where this is a line that I'm going to draw in the sand and this is where I can't go beyond this because I do yet claim to, to uh, salvation. You know, I might can go and stretch the rubber band, you know, and I talk and I say a lot of things and, you know, I share a, a lot of truth that people don't want to share, but I'm not a liar and I don't, I, and the things, and I'm not for people saving face and allowing people to abuse and misuse people and um, just just to to keep it hush hush and to keep it covered up. You know, no, we keep it covered up. That allows it to continue to persist. That allows it to continue to happen. That allows it to continue to be more victims. And that blood is going to be on your hands. So that's not, and that's not cool. So, you know, it's, a, it's just a difference. But anyway, you all, I'm going to jump off of here. I've been on almost an hour, just four minutes short of an hour. I want to thank you all for um, logging on. Now, if everybody... Now, let me say this. If all of you that are on here, and if you say that you love me, and if you say that you like me, then you should cash at me. You should help. You, um, Those people, who are some of those people that talk about, ooh, I just love you. Ooh, I just miss you. When you're not on, and when you don't do this, well, you show me. Show me that you love me. Do you love me, baby? If you love me, sweetie, I can't find the lady now. But whoever, I think it was one of the ones, Vicky or somebody. Uh, but uh, if you do, then, you know, hey, $5. Let me support obnoxious media. $10. Let me support obnoxious media. $100. I got my taxes back. Let me support obnoxious and Sir William. And what he's doing because I like him and I like his commentary and I like the gift that the Lord has placed in his life. And I want to sow into that. Then that's what you should do since you say that you like me. And so if you do, then you should support me. You should you should certainly um, so, uh, support me. And uh, hey, send something out. You know, I um, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this because it is so funny. The virtue, the the vitriol of um of the haters. It's like it's um uh and you know they uh have um a few people and you know I never I never had um before um what was it two or three years ago before I did the the live and talked about uh Earl Carter and how all of that came about and you know the retarded boy I never um had you know people that you know sit back and I guess like you know they want to bully you or you know say you know certain things like I'm not gonna change my number I'm not gonna change my number I've had my number since 96 I'm not changing my number and you don't have enough courage to come in my face and say ish and do ish. So all you can do and all you will do is set up a fake, 
Facebook page and say whatever you want to say. And you can put up whatever kind of picture. You can put up whatever kind of video. You can say whatever you want to say about Sir William. But you will never, you will never stop me and you will never operate on this level as I operate ever in your in your life. You will not do it. And you and you cannot. And you're in the and you're so consumed with envy and with jealousy. That's why you pay attention. I don't pay up to I don't pay attention to people that I don't like. Nobody pays attention and and follows and trolls a person page on somebody that they don't like. Why why would you give me that much time? Why would you give me that much energy? Is something wrong with you? All right, Vicky says um Vicky says I don't have my taxes uh uh, but I'll cash out you need your cash out. My cash out, um, my cash out should be in the, in the title. My cash out should, uh, certainly be in the title. Uh, C. Darnell. Hey. Uh, hey, Tony McNeil, what's going on? So, I said I wasn't going to call names. Now I'm calling names. Terrible of me. All right, y'all, I'm getting off of here because I've been on an hour and, you know, certainly got to, uh, I got to, it's time to get in the bed because it's going to be a long day tomorrow. Um, um, uh, it's going to be certainly a um, long day tomorrow. So I want to get off here, especially by us losing an hour. We lost an hour of good sleep. Oh, my gosh. So um, anyone. Also, uh, people are asking my cash app is Sir William. Sir William G. McCray the third. And that third is I, I, I. Uh, definitely Sir William. So um, love y'all. Um, and certainly need your help and support. Um, and so I see those cash apps coming in. I want to thank you. Um, I let my, um, I let my contributors and my people be, uh, anonymous. Y'all are being quiet. Y'all ain't, y'all not saying nothing. Y'all ain't talking to me. So y'all must be, uh, y'all must be good. All right. But anyway, thank you all for um, listening and logging in. Make sure that you like and share that you like and share and all that good stuff. And, um, um, uh, you know, send, send it out. Uh, oh my gosh, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, pretty lady. I, you know, I like the pretty ladies. And Kelly got some gorgeous blonde hair. Thank you so much. Um, uh, thank you so much, uh, my sister. And um, the only reason why I'm sharing it is because you, um, you, um, you were kind enough to um, to share it as well. So any of you, um, again, the cash app is so. Uh, is Sir William, Sir William, um, um, uh, G. McCray. So now it is so funny. Uh, what are the, um, what are the, uh, people, uh, you know, one of the pathetic people, they, um, they have, uh, uh, you know, they're sending texts and, uh, you know, it, it, it is, you know, it's so sad. And especially, um, Uh, gender loving, um, you, you know, the, the level of evil, um, and contempt that, uh, that, uh, men that like men have, uh, the level of how evil, um, and, uh, conniving and malicious that they can be is, is really, really beyond, 
um, something that 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 should be examined. It is it's the level of of how sick and um, and uh, evil that they can that they can be. But you know, the Bible says He'll make your enemy your footstool. Let you walk on they can they can call they do oh it's just it's pitiful, but what they gonna do they're gonna call from a block number because they're too afraid to show who they are, and they will never come forward and say or do anything ever. I guarantee you that, but anyway, y'all, I've been on long enough I wanna thank again my cash out and um an hour uh an hour and almost five minutes so i'm going to uh i'm going to jump off uh but want to um thank you like and share like and share and all that good um and all that good stuff and oh my gosh another one thank you so oh my gosh i just i love and appreciate you all these uh these uh donations coming in um, really love and appreciate you and thank you so 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 very um so very much i love y'all and thank y'all um so much for um liking and um, sharing of your substance with me all right you all i love you uh make sure that you like and share my um my uh live and until next time peace i'm out